Pastor Eli Leitz out here out of Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church studying the Ten Commandments with you. We're at the Eighth Commandment. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. What does this mean? <clears throat> we should fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbor, betray him, slander him, or hurt his reputation but defend him, speak well of him, and explain everything in the kindest way. So what is the good gift, the intrinsic good gift that our Lord is giving to us here? And I think we can see that the Lord of life is actually giving the good gift of a name. And a name is important. A name actually means something. When our Lord is the creator of life, then our Lord is actually also the creator of individuality. He's the creator of personhood. He doesn't create us as this uh, nameless uh, mob and collective out there, but he makes us all individuals. He has made you a specific individual. He's created you as you, and he's given to you a name. He's given his heavenly name, his divine name, his triune name in baptism, but then he calls you Mark or Sally or Linda or Eli. And that means something. And so to speak against somebody's name, to hurt somebody's reputation, is actually to speak against the, the individual's personhood. It attacks them because as we've learned already when uh, God uh, gives us his name, we talked about this in the second commandment, we talked about this also in uh, the fourth commandment and the sixth commandment too. When a name is given and bestowed upon somebody, that is a gift. And that name, along with that name, comes everything else. Well, when we get God's name placed upon us, we receive all God's good gifts. Well, when we have parents place their name upon their children, it comes with all of the things of the parents. When we have husbands giving their name to the wife, it comes with everything that the husband has as well. Well, here we've got our own individual name. And to despise this name actually despises the individual. It despises the personhood. Well, that's not what our Lord has created us for. Those are the things of evil, over and against the things of good. A name comes with life. And that name is written in the book of life. That's, that's the name that Jesus actually died for on the cross. He didn't die just for the collective of humanity. He died for you. He died for Sally and Rick and Matt. He died for Eli. Well, let's hold these names sacred. Let's not run around telling lies about people and defaming them. It's not what a Christian's called to do. God has actually given us this commandment so that he's protecting our reputation. Because our reputation is part of who we are as a person. Our name is who we are as an individual, as God has created us as an individual person. That's a good gift. Let's hold that good gift sacred, not just for ourselves, for our neighbor too, and say, no, God's given them a name and made them an individual person whom Christ has died for. Let's uphold that. Thanks be to God. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.